So in this video is the first class game in the M50 Sherman, which is an independence Cold War um, era one medium tank. So this is the start of the um, independence tech tree. Um, this is essentially a tier one tank uh, for, for era one. Um, this is what I, the equipment I run, uh, the rammer, vertical stabilizer and the powertrain. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a pretty good tank. Um, view range is quite nice um, compared to its camo, so it's not too bad. And these are the, um, the perks I've got, the six basic ones along with muffled shot and snapshot. Um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty good, decent tank. I've played a, a few more games in this. Um, the gun is, is a fast firing gun, which is really nice. Um, not too many mediums have that sort of rate of fire in, in Cold War, so it's quite nice. This is a, a nice change um, to sort of the other mediums. Um, yeah, it's a good tank overall. Uh, I, I do enjoy playing it. I think it is one that I, I, I will grind out. Um, I've heard that the um, the tanks along the, um, the line are, are decent as well, so one, yeah, definitely one to, uh, that I'm going to try and grind out. Um, I've got the large repair kit, med kit, and then the, uh, the food or the rations, whatever it's called now. Um, pretty standard again for a um, sort of Cold War medium tank. But yeah, uh, we've got side shots on these tanks sort of falling towards the corner, so um, as you can see, rate of fire is pretty good. Um, I've got it down to 3.2 seconds um, with the food activated. And um, yeah, just want to just clear this area. So then we can go down and get shots onto um, the back of these tanks down here. So I think that um, Centurion 5 one's seen what's happened and it's just charging in now just to stop being shot in the back. But unfortunately it's only um, so far it can go. Um, get a nice kill there. And unfortunately take a fairly needless um, shot damage. Um, it's probably going to get destroyed anyway. Should have uh, been backed out. Um, but now we're getting capped, and as you can see, we're all sort of pushed nicely. Um, looks like the enemy team have just sort of flanked around the north. Um, this happens quite a lot on this map, um, particularly Cold War. Um, the amount of lemon trains and wolf packs that happen, this this does happen quite quite regularly. Um, trying to get back now. Um, I'm thinking I, I trust that TD to actually reset the base. So I'm thinking I'm going to push up here and um, get shots across. See, just using true vision. I don't think I've got the penetration over this distance. Um, Yeah, it's a T95E3 back there. Um, putting some shots into it. But there's something back there. I'm not too sure if it's a TD or something. Um, but yeah, this is an um, interesting idea it's got. Should be able to um, out reload this NL116. So um, yeah, I'm not too sure what it's trying to do. Baiting shots. So yeah, as soon as it moves away, um, it just decides to move forward. Um, the M10 just completely yellows across. But yeah, um, we've got a, a TD on, on the green team um, that's capping now. Um, I'm actually hoping at this point that the enemy team will go down and destroy it, to be honest. Um, don't really want to win on a cap, especially when we're in weird four tanks up now. And yeah, thankfully a heavy tank goes in. Um, I'm not going to make any attempt <laughs> to help my TD that's capping the base. Um, yeah. So we've only got what, a second left. And um, thankfully the enemy um, resets the cap. So. Um, Managed to get the kill. They've got the, uh, the two tanks still up there. Um, that's a 110, so it's probably the target I want. But um, just pulled back here. I just want to um, just 
just have shots or have en the enemy only being able to shoot me from one direction, didn't want both of them um, shooting me. So decided there's two in that corner, there's obviously a heavy down by their base. Looks like by the time I get over to the um, northeast corner, I think all the damage will be gone. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to get down here and then realise there's a cliff there. Um, I'm not too sure what they've, if they've changed the physics. Um, just seem to be um, getting huge amounts of damage falling off relatively small cliffs now, especially in light tanks. Um, so yeah, very cautious there. And um, I feel like by the time I've got up that hill, all the damage will be gone. So I'm hoping that um, the heavy tank that reset their base, it looks like it's a WZ-111. So I'm hoping it's it's fairly healthy, low the premium. I'm kind of thinking at this point, I might be hiding behind one of these gates. Um, could have uh, run down to sort of um, K1. Um, if I was it, I probably would have gone back to sort of K7 around there, trying to get a hold down on those those ridges, just have a bit of a last stand up there. Um, but it's up here on the right hand side. Um, yeah, pretty good spot, um, but unfortunately um, that doesn't have the gun depression to actually then get shots down on on tanks coming through. So we get second place on that one, uh, three kills, uh, 3.1 damage, 24 hour direct hit, so you can really get the shots out. And um, yeah, uh, not too sure if that may have been my first game or not in it. Um, with these Cold War tanks that come out, I do tend to free XP for the third equipment slot straight away. Um, so yeah, not too sure if that was my first my first game in it or not. I think it was. Um, but yeah, really good game, uh, really good tank. And yeah, looking forward to um, grinding the line.